everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing an ultimate clean with me today. I am bringing you guys along on just a typical day for me. I am home with my kiddos and the house was a mess, so I needed to get everything cleaned up and do some organizing, and I wanted to bring you guys along. Today, I am starting in my bedroom. I just need to make my bed really quick. The morning got away from me. Um, I went to the gym, and I had to get my kids going on their schoolwork, and before I knew it, it was after 10 o'clock, and my bed still wasn't made, which isn't very usual for me. I usually make it right away, but we all have those days, so it needed to get made real quick before I headed out to the rest of the house. If you're new, thanks so much for coming by and checking out my video. My name is Amanda. I am a homeschool mom to four little kids and we are just wrapping up our school year. We're ending a little bit later than a lot of you. Um, my kiddos are definitely ready and I am ready to have a break. So uh, it's great to have you around. Definitely consider subscribing if you're new. I do share a lot of cleaning content as well as some day in the life videos focusing on how I do homeschooling. Um, for the most part, I am a solo parent right now. My husband does travel for work, so he is working out of state currently. So he doesn't show up in my videos very much, but I'd love to have you a part of my channel over here. Definitely let me know that you're here, introduce yourself. I'd love to get to know you. So now that I have my bed made, I am starting off in my kitchen, which is where I usually start. This is actually the one space in my house where I kind of need to have this area cleaned up and washed down before I get going on anything else in the house. It's just something about having the kitchen clean and organized that sets the tone for me for the rest of the day and for my productivity. I was actually talking to another YouTube creator. Her name is Amber. Um, she and I did a collab not too long ago. Her channel is Live Love Clean. And she asked um, what room in the house is the one that you need to have done that sets the mood as far as you being able to get onto the rest of your home. And for me, it is definitely the kitchen. So most of you see that this is where I start and it is, I've, I just can't really break this habit. It's where I need to be first thing just to set my day off right. All right, so those of you who have been around for a little while are very used to seeing my kiddos in and out of my videos. Um, with them homeschooling, of course, they're around, but also they are usually really good helpers, and I do make it a point to involve them and have them help in the chores that I am doing. They have their own chores, but I also will ask them to come in and help me with what I'm doing here and there, especially my little four-year-old. That was Warren. He is great about coming in and helping me in the morning when the older siblings are doing their schoolwork, and it just keeps him busy. So you will see him off and on quite a bit. It. but that is a homeschool hack that I have figured out when it comes to the little ones is just involve them in every single thing that you can as much as you can and it just sort of gives them that sense of purpose and they feel like a big helper they feel like they've got the responsibilities and they're needed and I just find that it really works really well as far as um, keeping them busy and keeping them in a good mood while the older ones are doing their schoolwork and you're also able to get things done so right here, I am washing out my soap dish. This is the Bubble Up Soap Dish from Grove Collaborative. And I'm actually gonna be changing out the soap and um, switching out the dish soap that I have. So this is the Caldrea dish soap. This is the sea salt neroli scent and it's all gone. I just finished using up the rest of it in the Bubble Up dish soap set. And I'm gonna wash these down just because they do get really scuzzy and full of soap scum and whatnot. But I'm using the new dish soap that I got, which is from Caldrea. It's the Pear Blossom Agave, and I haven't used it yet for a soap, but I have been using it in my laundry room for a laundry soap, and so far I'm really, really liking it. I'm really happy with a lot of the scents that Caldrea has so far, so I'm excited to have this in my kitchen for a dish soap. 
I also ran out of my hand soap. I had a little Method bottle of hand soap there. So on my last order, I got some of this um, free and clear hand soap from Grove Collaborative as well as their hand soap dispenser. So I'm really happy with this. It's a glass bottle. It feels like it's really, really good quality. I like the feeling of the pump as well. So far, I haven't received anything from Grove Collaborative that has been a fail. I've been really, really happy with all of the products that I've received from them. There have been some fragrances that I don't care for as much as others but as far as all of the brands, Method, Mrs. Myers, the Caldrea, the Grove Collaborative brand, everything is doing a really, really good job. Um, I love that they have so many things that are refillable and reusable and the gel hand soap refill that they sent, there's so much of it. So it's going to get me through quite a few weeks. So I'm really, really happy with a lot of the products that I'm receiving from Grove. So my next area is the laundry room. I haven't come in here and wiped everything down in quite a while. And uh, with my kiddos, homeschooling and whatnot, they use this pencil sharpener a lot. So because they're running around with pencils all the time, there are pencil markings all over the cabinets. So first I needed to come in and empty the pencil sharpener, which this thing is great, but it makes such a huge mess whenever I have to empty it. So I had to clean up that mess. And then I'm gonna be washing down the walls and all of that because they have been going a little nuts, especially my five-year-old, with the pencils on the walls. So like I said before, you guys are going to be seeing Warren off and on quite a bit throughout this video. And I knew when I came in here, the second that he figured out I had a spray bottle, he'd be coming in. This is his absolute favorite chore to be involved in. You give him a spray bottle and he will follow you around for the rest of the day until that chore is done. So I am using the all surface spray from Caldrea. This is the rose water and driftwood scent. And it is absolutely my favorite. Um, I did also grab a magic eraser because when I got back in here, this is usually where the shoe rack is for the kids and whatnot and there was just a ton of mud and dirt all over this wall here so I wanted to grab the magic eraser as well so I've got him using the spray bottle and I'm going on the baseboards and the cabinets with the magic eraser All right, so now I wanted to get going on washing down the washer and dryer set. Um, that little pile of laundry that was up there, if you guys have been around, you probably already know, but those are just some dish rags and towels. I will stack them on here throughout the day and then I will run a small load every single night. I just prefer to wash them separately from our clothing. So that is why they are up there on the top of the washing machine. But I wanted to come in here and wash these down and I am using the glass and surface spray from Method. It's great for, um, of course, glass, but also like the stainless steel appliances and surfaces. It just leaves a really, really clean, bright shine. So I'm using that for washing these down today. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide Oh I know He got me good in his pocket I know that I'm just a treat
All right, so now we are starting on the living room. You will see Nora and Dane. They are my two older kiddos. Nora is in second grade. She's finishing up second grade, and Dane is kindergarten. And they will help out with the chores and whatnot during their breaks um, in between their school lessons. So I usually restrict like television or letting them go outside to play until all of their school lessons are done. It just makes it a lot easier getting them through their schoolwork. And this, like I said earlier, is a day that I did go to the gym. So everything was pushed back. The kiddos come with me to the gym and we aren't able to start their lessons as early in the morning. So I do need to stay on top of their lessons and we tend to kind of push through. It's usually like a four hour block of time that will work on their lessons and they'll have little breaks in between. But usually when they're taking breaks, I like to keep them up and moving. And um, we do that with the chores just because they've been sitting and they've got their wiggles and whatnot they need to get out. So I usually have them come in and help me out with their chores. So it has been a while since I came in and organized the games and the puzzles with the kids. Uh, there wasn't anything that we needed to get rid of. I just wanted to come in and make sure that everything was organized and in its place because he, as you can see, some things were not. If you leave it up to the kids, they're going to take the easy way and just toss everything under there rather than pulling it out and putting it where it belongs. So this is needed every now and then, but I just wanted to come in and make sure that everything was put back in its place and put away correctly. So these little lacing cards, I have a love-hate relationship with them right now. The boys are very, very into them, and of course they're great. Um, there are a lot of positives that come from them using them, but they are all over the house usually, and the kids, of course, never want to unlace them. But if you don't take the laces out, you can't store them properly in the box. They don't all fit. So that is what we're doing right here. Um, I'm trying to keep them focused so that they don't play with them. Uh, and instead I'm wanting them to unlace everything so that we can put all of the little pieces away. And then I'm going to be tying up the string to put it away correctly. And did you ever know somebody? Tell 
All right, so now it's actually a couple hours later and I'm back in the kitchen because the kids have had their lunch. So I'm just coming in and cleaning everything down as far as the countertops. I did wait to do this earlier because I knew the kids were gonna be coming in and getting their lunch and it doesn't really make sense to do it all beforehand because the countertops really weren't that dirty earlier. So now I'm taking care of washing down all of the surfaces and I'm gonna be washing down um, some of the appliances and the sink and all that as well and just kind of getting the kitchen shut down for a few hours in the midday, which is usually part of my routine. Why, why? So like I said earlier, I do love to use the Method Glass and Surface Spray for the stainless steel appliances. It just leaves a really, really nice shine and I find that it gets everything really clean. It also has a super pleasant minty smell, which I really enjoy having the citrus and the mint smells in my kitchen. So I'm using that on my appliances as well. So at this point now, Nora has finished her schoolwork. Dane has been done with his schoolwork for a little while, but she just finished hers and she cleared off the table of all of her school books and her laptop. And she wanted to help out by taking care of the chore of wiping down the table. This is also part of my midday routine to get the table wiped down after she's done. But today she wanted to help out and take responsibility for this chore. 
Next, I'm coming into the living room just to give everything a good vacuum. I'm gonna wait on the kitchen and the dining area. I do that whenever I can. I'll wait until the end of the day. Sometimes I have to vacuum in the middle of the day and clean the floors up, but today it wasn't too bad. So I'm waiting on that over there, but this area, I did wanna get to it. Um, I'm gonna be moving the furniture and trying to vacuum underneath the couch and whatnot because it's also been a little while since I've done that. So yeah, as you can see, it's been a while since I've moved the couch and this was just nasty. There was anything and everything under here, books and toys for my baby and game pieces and uh, even some snacks and some Lego pieces. I mean, anything and everything was under here. The kids are not allowed to eat in the living room, but of course that's not always strictly enforced or um, they will just conveniently forget that that's the rule. So <laughs> this definitely needed to get cleaned up today. Yeah, I've been waiting too long for you. I don't want to love you if you don't love me back. All right, so another chore that I try to stay on top of fairly regularly is to clean off the leather furniture, and I like to use the Wyman Leather Wipes to do this. It does a great job of cleaning the leather, but it also conditions it really well. So I wanted to take advantage of the fact that I was in here and I was already messing with the furniture, and I might as well just stop and take a few minutes to do that as well. Do you care about me cause you're lonely? Cause I'm the only one around. You say you are better safe than sorry Cause you're too scared to hit the ground all right, you guys, the very last thing that I wanted to get to today was this load of laundry. So this laundry was put in the night before and then finished or retrieved, I should say, this morning. The last load was in the dryer last night and I didn't pull everything out until this morning. But then with our busy morning, I am just now getting to it. So this is a load, actually two loads of the kids' clothing. And what I'm trying to do is to organize and sort it all before I take it upstairs. I am trying to see if that will help me um, just stay on top of getting it actually put away. Like I've said before, we don't do dressers for the kids, so it's just a matter of sorting everything, getting it all turned right side out, and then I just need to take it up and put it on the hangers. But if I leave it in the basket, it'll just kind of sit there for a day or even two days. So I'm trialing something new. We'll see, I'll let you guys know if this makes a difference and if it helps me stay on top of it, but that's why we're down here. Um, it also helps, I've noticed so far, that it gets the kiddos involved a little bit more, especially my little one. If we're up in his bedroom, he'll just end up playing and whatnot. So this does help the kids be a little more involved in um, learning how to sort their laundry and turn it right side out and all of that. So we'll see how this goes, but this is gonna wrap up the video for today, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming this one today. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys got a lot of really, really good motivation out of it. Um, consider subscribing if you're new. Like I said, I do a lot of cleaning content and there's a lot of real mom life thrown in there as well. So definitely subscribe if you're new. Make sure the bell notification is on and you'll know when I upload my next video. And I'll see you guys with my next one.